Today we're checking out the Soul Arc 15K, and this is a very impressive and very large all-in-one solar power system. It is by far the most feature-rich product we've ever had on this channel. If you want to pass an inspection with a grid tie or off-grid system, this is the way to do it. It does cost more, but this thing can do pretty much anything you want. And notice how big this thing is. This has a massive inverter, solar charge controller, and a 200 amp transfer switch, which is insane. This thing is over 130 pounds. First off, you can scale it so you can put multiple units in parallel and power whatever you wish. Next, it has every grid interactive feature you could imagine. You can do an AC coupled system. You can back feed and sell power back to the grid. You can do time of use smart loads, peak shaving, all sorts of cool stuff. I'm pretty sure it's the only one that does everything. It's DC and AC coupled, and you can program it to do whatever you wish. Next, you can use 48 volt batteries with this unit and actually pass an inspection. I think it's the only one on the market that has every UL certification around. Next, Soul Arc actually sells these models with EMP hardening. This is their latest model, and they're not gonna have the EMP hardening until later this year but for all of their other models you can actually buy it with EMP hardening. Now let's open up the panel and see what's inside. So this thing is a absolute beast. First off we have a 200 amp transfer switch that you can put 4 aught gauge cables directly inside. So you can back up your entire home. You can turn your home into an off-grid solar power system with 48 volt batteries in one of these units. You do not need to add an extra panel or a transfer switch or whatever. You just connect it right here. This is the grid input, and this is where you connect your house's panel. And then over here is for a generator connection. And down here we have the neutral bus bar and the ground bus bar. And the output actually has its own circuit breaker, so you don't have to install that separate. Now the printed circuit board in the middle has the PV connections and you can connect three strings to this single system. And then up here we have the battery communication, we have Modbus right here, RS-485, and then parallel connection for other units if you want to scale this system in size. And then the battery connection is over here. These are the main negative conductors and these are the main positive and you can connect 4 aught gauge cables to each terminal. And it comes with a 200 amp DC circuit breaker. Also you have tons of space down here for making these connections and running your conduit. On a lot of other cheaper all-in-ones from China you do not have this much space. This is very nice and easy to work with. Jeez this thing is scary man, it's huge. Next, on the side of the unit, you have a DC switch for rapid shutdown of the PV array. And you have to do this if you want to pass an inspection. Next, there's an on and off button and a Wi-Fi dongle connection. You can monitor the system or set it up with SolArc with their Wi-Fi communication system. And this SolArc does not have vents on the side. The air comes from the bottom and then goes out of the top. And that's really nice because on the older SolArcs, they had vents on the side and you had to space them so there was enough room for airflow. But on this unit, you can actually put them pretty close together without issue. And there's nothing really on the back. You have to use their bracket to mount it on the wall and it's very durable. This is a metal box. Also notice that the hinges are stainless steel and this is a waterproof box because it's rated for outdoor use. And it's certified and listed to work outside. They have every single listing you could imagine to actually pass an inspection in an outdoor environment. Now the main reason people are gonna buy the 15K and why I personally love it more than any other SolArc is that you can disconnect your meter from your panel, put the Soul Arc in between the two without any disconnect switch or anything else, and you can make your entire house off-grid. That is game-changing. Um, there is nothing else on the market, at least that I know of, that can do this, especially at 200 amps. Now in this video, we're gonna take this unit apart because right now I can't really test it on my bench. This thing is massive. This is a whole home backup. It will turn any home pretty much off grid. So what we're gonna do for the first video is take it apart and look inside. And then in the near future, we're gonna actually hook this up to a house and back up an entire home. It will be awesome. And this thing's 130 pounds. The lift with your back. No knees. Whew, that was hard. <laughs> nope, there's other ones. It's 
So keep in mind, even though it's an American-based company and they have American support, this is still made in China and very similar to other all-in-one units that we review. It's still very impressive. It's crazy how much current is going through this PCB. I mean, these connections right here and all of these lugs, you have this 200 amp relay on a board. Look at the size of these bus bars connecting this PCB to this one over here. And the MPPT circuit is deeper, it's on the other side. So this is like the control circuit, um, the transfer switching, and then some of the inverter circuit below. And on the back, we have a massive bank of capacitors. So for this model in particular, it's advisable to manually charge these capacitors with your own resistor. I would not trust a server rack battery pre-charge resistor because you don't know if the duration is long enough to charge up this massive bank because there is a lot of capacitors down here. Now I want to go deeper but I don't want to screw anything up. There is a lot of connections on this top board. This is being paid for out of pocket by my friend that's installing this on his house and I want to show you guys the features especially with the grid interaction. And the build quality is very typical. There's nothing that stands out. I would say a Victron is better than this but when it comes to inverters the software matters a whole lot as well to get all of those special features. It takes a lot of time for software engineers to actually code a high quality inverter. Sometimes cheaper inverters have good quality components, but the software is lacking. But not with something like a Solark or a Victron, their software is top notch. Also, these conductors over here have hydraulic crimps, which is very nice to see. Also, these boards have labels everywhere of what everything is, so it's very easy to work on if something were to fail. You just have to follow these wires over and then there's a label and you know exactly what you're working with. And you can test if all of the connections are tight. You can see them all right here. It's very easy to work on. There's more boards on the back of this side. There is a lot shoved into this thing. And the cooling system in the back, oh my god. So it's hard to see, but there is a massive heat sink in the back. And this is isolated from the boards in the front. Pretty incredible and pretty much the only one on the market that has its features. I really don't want to screw it up, so I'm going to end this video now. But in the next video, we're going to actually build a system and back up an entire house, a 200 amp panel, and it will be glorious. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.